rosy strawberry jam, you will need two pounds of small firm strawberries, two pounds of granulated sugar, and the juice of one large lemon. This will make you approximately three pounds of jam. The equipment and the utensils you will need are a muslin pan, wooden jam spoon, a ladle, lemon squeezer, sharp knife, chopping board, jam funnel, scales, teaspoon and two small plates and your jam jars. Now first of all place two small plates into the fridge or ice baking compartment ready for a crinkle test later on. Wash your jars and place in your oven at 150 Celsius to dry and sterilise your jars. You can keep the jars in the oven until the jam is ready to put in them. Take away any green stalk from the strawberries and the white part of the strawberry at the top. This is a process called hulling. Avoid washing the strawberries if possible as any excess water could ruin your jam. At most rinse them gently in a colander. Place them in a large pan, preferably a jam or muslin pan. Muslin pans are better as they have an encapsulated base for even heat distribution. Put the strawberries over a low heat to start the juices running. Cook until the strawberries become soft and they are surrounded by their juices. When the strawberries are heated through, remove from the heat and stir in the sugar. Stir the sugar in gradually and gently until this is all dissolved. Place the pan back onto the heat, turn it up a little higher and bring the contents of the pan to the boil. Then reduce to a rolling boil, just high enough so that the jam doesn't boil over. You'll need to add the lemon juice at this point. Stir very occasionally to prevent sticking, but each time you stir the jam it will cool slightly and break up the strawberries, so don't overdo it. When the jam has darkened and thickened slightly, usually after about 10 minutes you can test for a set. Teaspoon a small amount of jam onto one of the plates from the fridge and put it back into the fridge for a few moments. Test, gently push the edge of the jam onto the plate to see if it crinkles. If so, the jam is ready. Turn off the heat and leave to stand for at least 20 minutes, as if you jar it too hot, all of the fruit will rise to the top of the jar. If it is not ready, continue to cook for a further 10 minutes and then redo the crinkle test. With experience, you will come to know when a jam is ready for testing, but that is something that has to be learned. Remove your jars from the oven. If there is sugar foam on the surface of the jam, this can be disposed by stirring in a knob of butter. The butter will not change the taste of the jam. Pour the jam using a jam funnel and ladle into the jars, just below the top of the jar, and then seal immediately with a new lid or cellophane covers. The jam will keep in a cool dark place for several years. There is no need to refrigerate, either open or unopened. And that's it, you've made your jam. Leave to stand undisturbed overnight, then make some scones and enjoy.